Governor Rick Scott is talking tonight about the FDLE scandal that plagued him in recent weeks. At issue, did he force the FDLE director out or did he resign voluntarily? CBS 4's Joe Murray caught up with the governor today. for the grand opening of Sealand, a leading ocean transportation company, Governor Rick Scott announced a milestone. We've added 728,000 jobs in four years. And the governor didn't miss a beat, responding to a sensitive question about Baileygate. It's, uh, it's disappointing what was happened. What happened was longtime FDLE Commissioner Gerald Bailey refusing to go gently into the night after his sudden departure. Bailey said Scott lied when telling the Florida cabinet he resigned from his job. Instead, in an interview with our news partners at the Miami Herald, Bailey claims he was forced out for refusing to violate policy, failing to take political sides, and for refusing to target a county clerk for something she had not done. Uh, Jerry Bailey. Uh, stepped down uh, uh, last month in December, waited until a new commissioner was approved by all the cabinet. Uh, then he started his nasty attacks. Still, two cabinet members, Chief Financial Officer Jeff Atwater and Ag Commissioner Adam Putnam, say Bailey's allegations warrant an investigation by a third party. Really getting anywhere by, you know, the exchange of letters and talking to one another, you know, from one end of the hall to the other. We need to be, in, we need to be at the same table and, and have this conversation at the next cabinet meeting. We tried reaching Jerry Bailey at his Tallahassee home without success. Some state lawmakers plan to turn up the heat on the governor. To remove him um, smacks of shenanigans that we don't know anything about. The Bailey controversy is not going away. Some cabinet members support a new search for an FDLE commissioner, and the governor says he supports it. Joan Murray, CBS